Maddie, what's up? I just got a new job, and they're paying me to go back to school to get a certification in photography production. My old MacBook finally crashed, though, so I need a new computer. First of all, congratulations on the new job. Thanks. Do you know what you're going to get? There are so many options out there. I think the school requires me to have something portable so I can take it to class. That'll rule out a desktop and bring me to a laptop or tablet. Okay, so what's your budget? I would love to stay under $2,000 if possible. But if that's not possible, ultimately, I really need to stay under $2,500. When I bought my last computer, I spent around $2,300. Before I buy a new one, I need to figure out what I'm actually going to need since I'm going to be using this for both job and hobby. Once I figure that out, I'll know whether my budget is realistic and we can cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, at least we have a good place to start. That'll help us narrow down the search and compare apples to apples since the price of computers varies so much based on whatever specs it has. So let's take a look at what I actually need. The school site states that the minimum requirements are a CPU Intel Core i7 processor, a graphics card, 16 gigs of RAM, a 13 inch screen, and one terabyte of storage. I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom software, and I need my digital camera to be able to connect, so the computer should have enough ports to handle my other devices as well. Let's Google it and see what's out there. Okay. I just looked up which laptop is best for photo editing and found four different options. The Apple MacBook Pro, the Lenovo ThinkPad, the Dell Inspiron 13, and the Microsoft Surface Book 2. The Apple prices start at $12.99, but as soon as I start adding all the bells and whistles, it adds up quickly. What about the other ones? You can get a Lenovo for around $10.99 and a basic Dell for $1,000. The last one is a Surface Book 2, and it's almost as expensive as the Apple. Well, let's compare them with the features you'll need for school and hobby. Okay, we'll create a comparison chart for each of them. Great idea. Based on this comparison, it looks like the Apple MacBook Pro and the Microsoft Surface Book 2 meet the minimum requirements, but the price for each is just a little higher than I was hoping to spend. The Lenovo ThinkPad, while the best price, doesn't meet the minimum requirements and should rule, we should rule that one out. The Dell, with the exception of the storage requirements, hits every other mark and is significantly more affordable. I wonder if it would be acceptable to get a larger external hard drive to supplement the storage capacity. I might have to look into that option. Can you get a student discount or money off with the trade-in to make it more affordable? Oh, that's a good question. I know for a fact that Apple offers both a student discount and they also offer up to $2,500 in trade-in value when turning in an eligible computer. Since my computer is currently in Apple, I'll have to see how much I can get for it, if anything, now that it's crashed. And the Surface Book Pro? I'm not sure. I'll have to look up Microsoft's student discount poli policy to see if they have any similar offers. Sounds like you have some more market research to do, but you're on the right track. If I can take advantage of Apple Student Discount Program and get something for my trade-in, the MacBook Pro will meet my minimum requirements and stay within my budget. If I can't get a trade-in credit, I'll have to check out what Microsoft's policy is and see how it compares to Apple's and see which one will give me the most bang for my buck. Excellent! And this is an excellent example of how to conduct market research.